Okay, let's continue on with our thumb screw. We're going to make our bolts. Now, I have a background image. Um, all you have to do is go to your front view and just drag it from your desktop. Just drag it and drop it right in. Or go to your quad view and just go to your front view and take your picture and drag it and drop it in. Since this tutorial assumes a little prior knowledge, I assume you know how to get a background image in. I didn't use it in my first video because I didn't really need it, but I'm going to use it to determine height of my bolts. So I'm going to turn on my background image here. You'll see of my thumb screw there. So I'm going to go into my front view. Take a good look here. Everything looks to be lined up. Did a pretty good job to not be using a background image as a template. So let's go back to perspective view and let's lay down some geometry. I'm going to go to a new mesh. Because I want this to be separate. So, okay, let's grab us a cylinder with eight sides and let's draw it out. I'll make it for now until I can get the size of more accurate 135 millimeters. And that will be on the X and Z. Now I want to line this bad boy up here. So let's move it over. Let's bring it up. Now we'll scale it up after we build on it here a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Looks pretty even. So now let's widen this out a little. Like that. And that would be about 200 millimeters. It's looking like. So we'll make it 200 and X and Y. It'll be a little closer to the size of the bolt in the picture. See there? Now it looks like it's lining up pretty good with the size. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up a little bit, extrude it about up to there. Space bar and drop a tool. So now let's go ahead and select this upper face, hit the B key for bevel, click to activate our bevel. Let's drag in on the X handle, the red handle, like so. Let's hit shift and click <clears throat> to reactivate our tool. And let's pull up the top of the bolt there. And again, we'll scale in on the X, like so. OK. Now we got our bolt, so let's go ahead and spacebar drop the tool. Let's go ahead and lay down some <clears throat> loop slices. Go to mesh edit, symmetry, count of two. And let's start laying in some loop slices pretty close to the edges here. I'm going to lay one across that way, across this way, and across this way. Like so. Looks like we might be able to bevel the bottom just a tad, just to maybe let hold its little bit of rigidness to it there. Okay, I still think we're going to need a few more cuts. Let's go into sub D mode by hitting the tab key and see what we got. And yeah, we still need to make some cuts. So let's go to polygon mode and select up through here. We'll do our loop slice up through there. And we'll do that all the way around. Like so. We want to get every side. It's easy to miss one. So you want to make sure you get them all. Looks like we got a couple more to go here. So let's finish that up. through there will be our last one. Now as you can see that's holding the shape a lot better. Our bolt shape a lot better. Okay. Let's go ahead and bevel the top in a little bit just to give it a little bit of stiffness. 
There we go. That makes the top a lot stiffer there. Now we're getting a pretty good looking bolt. Now, we may decide to keep this in polygon mode. You know, you, it's uh, totally up to you on, on what you want this thing to look like and, and feel like. So, and also it's up to you the level of detail you want. If, you're, if this is going out to print, then you might want to hollow this out and build the inside of it up there and maybe put some threads in it. But this is being built for just a single steel shot. It's not going out to print or anything like that, so we don't have to be so accurate. So you need to really pay attention to where your model's going to be going to. And that will determine a lot on how much detail and resolution you're going to have to give this thing. So now we have our basic bolt. Of course, we can select it. Command C, Command V, W to activate. And we can move this over like so. Line it up a little bit better there. Roughly stick it in place here. And looks like it's going to be recessed into the wood a little bit. Let's do the same with this one. Okay, now we've got our two little bolts up at the top there. This is our, I went ahead and pre-built a handle there, but that's just was just me fooling around, so that's not a big deal. We don't need to pay attention to that. So now, let's go ahead and command X and cut them out. Let's go back up to our original plate here and paste them in. Let's remove our background image so I can see what we got going on here. Okay, just maybe needs a little lining up there, but... Not much. It's not going to be even with the picture, I don't think. If we line it up with our eye. I think it still needs to be adjusted a little bit. Like I said, this is going to make it off as far as the background image is concerned. But that's okay. Because the background image is just a guide. Okay, everything looks good. Let's turn our background image back on. Now the next thing we're going to build is going to be this handle here. The creme de la creme, so to speak. And these bolts here, um, we're not going to build the threads because I'll tell you what, building a, a true screw is one of the hardest things you'll ever do in a 3D program and we ain't got time for it. Maybe in a different lesson. In Maya there's a polyhelix that can help you fake it but it's still not a screw. Bundle the screws tough so we're just gonna put some regular cylinders up and down through here to save us some time and uh, now that we got our top caps built like so we will move on to our next video We'll put our bolts through here, build our bottom caps, and then we will do our handle, and I'll show you how we do that. So, uh, see you in the next video.